Okay, here is a short video, maybe a minute or two, about how to create your own tokens for use in Albert Rodeo. Uh, I'm at a website called rolladvantage.com slash token stamp. So it uh, goes by the name token, token stamp 2. Uh, very straightforward. It's free. I drag an image into here. So I'll go into my uh, desktop here and I'll grab an image that I downloaded that is uh, non-licensed and I'll drag it in. And there we go, it's made the token already. I can resize this, I can move this around, um, you know, whatever whatever you want. Uh, I can change its border to make it something a bit more, more clever, perhaps. Here we go, that looks good to me, and I will download it. Now, back over at Albert Rodeo, we've got our tavern scene. There's our bard, but with nobody for her to fight. I will now go into my token area and I will make a new one. I'll just add it. So here's a token. I will upload it and there we go. So this I can edit. Instead of calling it token, I can call it goblin. And if I want to, I can give it a label which will appear underneath it. Maybe Poe the Green. I don't know. Anyway, save that. Done. Now I can drag that token in there and now I've got someone for the barbarian to fight. I can also uh, make it different sized. So if I now go back into that, I can edit that goblin to maybe turn it into what would be ogre sized by giving it a default size of two. This gives it a 10 foot by 10 foot space that it takes up. So I'll save that and show you the difference. Here comes Poe's bigger brother. Boom, there you go. So now we've got Poe the green and Poe the green. I can, I can change these right here and just get rid of it that way so now the labels are gone or change them. Uh, Frank, there's one golden named Frank, and we call that one, uh, I don't know, Lucy. There you go. Frank and Lucy versus the Barbarian. Well, we got a fight on our hands, and we can wonder how they will do.